Okay, this is Algebra 3.4a. Okay, so we're getting into a little bit more complicated equations, but they're just like the ones that we solved when we were working with equal signs instead of inequalities. <clears throat> so, if we have the equation 9 plus 4t is greater than 21, I want to get t alone, so I need to get rid of that 9 and I need to get rid of that 4. The first thing I need to do is get rid of the 9, so I'll subtract 9 from both sides, and I get 4t is greater than... 12, if I carry that up over here, I need to get the t alone, so I need to get rid of the 4. Right now that's multiplication, so I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides, and I get t is greater than 3. <clears throat> okay, three problems here. So I've got negative 6a minus 7 is less than or equal to 17. So I want to get a alone, so I need to get rid of that negative 6 and that negative 7 or that minus 7. First thing I'm going to do is going to get rid of the 7, so I'm going to add 7, because then these cancel out. I'm just left with negative 6a. It's less than or equal to 24. Then I'll divide by negative 6. What do I do when I divide by a negative number? I need to flip the sign, and I get a is greater than or equal to negative 4. Alrighty, negative 4 is less than 5 minus 3n. Okay, so I want to get n alone. I need to get rid of the 5, and I need to get rid of that 3, that negative 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract that 5, because that 5 is positive right now. So I'll subtract the 5 from both sides. I get negative 9 is less than negative 3n. I need to get rid of that negative 3. Right now there's multiplication going on, so to get rid of it, I need to divide. So I'll divide by negative 3. When I divide by a negative number, what do I do? I flip the sign. Negative 9 divided by negative 3. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so this is just 3. And my negatives cancel off, my threes cancel off, and this is just n. Okay. 50 is greater than 0.8x plus 30. Okay, I need to get rid of that 0.8x, and I'll need to get rid of that 30. The first thing I should do is get rid of the 30. So I will minus 30 from both sides. So I get 20 is greater than 0.8x. Then I need to get rid of that point 0.8 right now. That's multiplication going on, so I need to divide. 20 divided by point 0.8 is 25. So 25 is greater than x. Okay, story problems. We can do it. Okay, in a community garden, you want to fence in a vegetable garden that is adjacent to your friend's garden. You have 12... You have at most 20, wow, you have at most 42 feet of fence. What are the possible length of your garden? Okay, so here's our garden over here. And here's um, my friend's garden that I'm going up against. So it has to be 12 feet, right? Because theirs is 12 feet. So this will be 12 feet here, and this over here will also be 12 feet. Okay? So I use my perimeter equation, and I know what my width is. My width is 12, so I plug it in here, right? So I get 2L plus 2 times 12, and that needs to be smaller than or equal to 42, because I only have 42 feet of fencing. So that's 2L plus 24. Simplify first when you can. Now I can start moving things around. I'll subtract 24 from both sides, and I'm just left with 2L is less than or equal to 18. So I divide by 2, shoot, I'm running out of room, and I get L is less than or equal to 9. <clears throat> so the length of our garden needs to be 9 feet or smaller, because I don't have to use all the fencing. 
Okay, let's try her on. You want to make a rectangular banner that is 18 feet long. And if this is 18 feet down here, this is also 18 feet up there. You have no more than 48 feet of trim for the banner. What is the possible width of the banner? So, the perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W. My length, I've already been told, is equal to 18. And it needs to be less than or equal to 48. Because that's how much trim I have. So I can plug in for my L plus 2W. It's a plus sign. Okay, 2 times 18 is 36. Now I can subtract 36 from both sides. Those cancel off. I just get 2W is less than or equal to 12. Divide by 2, W is less than or equal to 6. So, my width could be 6, 5, 4, actually it could be anywhere in between there, right? It just needs to be, 6 feet is the biggest it can be. I could have like 5.5 .5 feet, that'd be okay. Okay, and finally using the distributive property. So let's try this one up here. 3 times t plus 1 minus 4t is greater than or equal to negative 5. So remember, we need to simplify first. So I'm going to distribute that 3 in first, which will give me 3 times t is 3t, plus 3 times 1 is 3, minus 4t is greater than or equal to negative 5. I can combine my t's here. 3t minus 4t is a negative 1t, plus 3, greater than or equal to negative 5. Okay, now I'll subtract 3 from both sides. That cancels off. I have negative 1t is greater than or equal to negative 8. I need to get t alone, so I need to divide by negative 1. When I divide by a negative number, remember, I switch my sign. So I get t is less than or equal to 8. Okay, let's try our own down here. 15 is less than or equal to... 5 minus 2 times 4m plus 7. The first thing I need to do is I need to simplify. So I'm going to distribute in my negative 2. Don't forget the negative with it. 15 is less than or equal to 5. Okay, negative 2 times 4m is a negative 8m. Negative 2 times 7 is minus 14. So I can combine my numbers here. 5 minus 14 is a negative 9. So that's 15 less than or equal to negative 8m minus 9. I'll move that up over here. So I'm going to need to get rid of that negative 8 and that not negative 9. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 9 to both sides. That cancels out. So I get 24 is less than or equal to negative 8m. And then I'll divide by negative 8. When I divide by a negative number, remember, I need to switch my sign, and I get negative 3. And there's your homework.